Hi, in this tutorial I'll introduce fantastic software for easily creating anime characters. Then I'll import the final model into Blender, so stay tuned until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. First, you need to visit vroid.com and download this software. It's completely free and all the models you create are royalty free. In the main menu of Vroid Studio, we need to create a new character. Here we need to select the character type. You can navigate the character using the metal mouse button and right click. There are many attributes you can modify to achieve the desired result. Let's start with the face type and shape. This section just the entire face. You can edit the eyes and other facial features later. The second is the eye style. There are many attributes here related to the eyes. I'll modify a few of them. In the next section, you can change the irises. The reflection effect will remain and you can adjust it in another section. We can adjust iris attributes in detail. You can also select a color for each eye. In the edit texture section, you can paint on the eye. Let's select an eye highlight or eye reflection. In this color section, I can select the other parts of the eye. Let's choose the eyebrows and then adjust their attributes. In the next section, I can select the eyelids. This area is quite small. Next is the eyeliner. For the next section, you can change the eyelashes. We can choose the nose here, and it's better to view it from the front. Let's adjust attributes. The next is the mouth shape. Next is the inside the mouth which includes the teeth and I want to be changing it. I forgot to change the mouth's attributes. In this section, you can change the lip color. Here we can add some effects to the cheeks. The skin has a base texture that you can change in this section. In the face paint section, you can add some elements to the face. You can also paint or import your custom elements. Let's test several facial expressions to see if the model is designed well.
Okay, good. The face is done. Let's work on the hairstyle. Here we can select a base hairstyle. The hair is fully customizable, which we will explore soon. In the front section, we can change the front part of the hair. Next is the section for the back of the hair, which I don't want to change. This section controls the overall shape of the hair, which I don't want to change. Here we can add some extensions to the hair. In the next section we can add side hair. In the next section we can add an extra part to the hair. Here we can change the shape of each part of the hair using control points. Let's select the front part. We can also create a new part. Alright, uh, in the body section we can change the character's height, style, color and more. These are the body styles that I don't want to change. And these are the skin colors. Let's increase the height, but in female type there are some limitations. If we want more height, we need to change male height, which is related to the male type. Here we can change the body texture and paint on it. The next section is related to the outfit. We have many outfits here, but we can also import our custom outfits. Here we can only change the top. The next section is for the bottom. We can apply a dress here. This is the neck accessory section and I wanted to remove the current accessory I have. In the next section we can add an arm accessory. Other parts and underwear sections are here and the last one is for the shoes. In the next section we can add accessories using this button. A tail has been added and we can move it using these axes. In the look section you can adjust the shaders such as the outline effect, rim effect and more. This shader is supported by Blender. Each part has its own shader properties. I am satisfied with these values. Let's skip this part. The last section is related to the bones of the character, which I won't modify. Click this button and select Export as VRM. If you are satisfied with the current configuration, press Export. First, write the name for your project and then enter your name. You can add extra information such as the license type and more. Finally, press Export. Now select a path. To import the model into Blender, you need an add-on, which you can find a link to in the description. 
Hope and Blender, preferably version 4.2 or higher. And from the bottom, press Get Add-on. Then you need to drag and drop the add-on into Blender. I already have this add-on installed in Blender. Press N and you'll see a new option called VRM added to Blender. Now you can easily import VRM files. The model is important and its shader is fully supported. Characters rig has also been imported. Another important concept is morph objects, which are the facial expressions and they are also important. Go to the groups and you'll see all the expressions. You can activate each expression by using the numbers in front of them. Finally, you can select the model, export it as FBX, and easily import it into any software. For the textures, you can either pack them with the model or unpack them to use separately. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.